Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second video I'm doing today. Uh, I want to put out a couple for this weekend. So if I'm, you notice I'm in the same clothes, that's because it's the same day. And actually only about an, an hour um, later. So what we have got today is I'm going to talk about my slipper orchid here. This is a Modier type slipper orchid. You can tell it's a Modier type because um, A, the tag, and B, because it has these nice um, kind of mottled leaves. So it's one of the first indications. So this is a hybrid plant. We actually transplanted this together a few videos back. We um, cleaned out all the media, repotted it, and look what it has rewarded us with. Beautiful flower, beautiful bud about to come out, another beautiful um, spike here. And the interesting thing about this guy, and he's never done this before, and as you can see from the amount of fans, I've had him for a few years, He's actually, I don't know if it'll develop, but it's got a second bud coming out there. And I'm already noticing just now that this one here, you can maybe see it even clearer, it has two buds as well. These are only supposed to have one bud per um, stalk, so I'm not sure how that's going to work or if it's actually going to develop. This guy I've owned for about three, or three years now, four years. Um, I, bought it when it, I bought it when it was small. It had one fan. It had not bloomed yet. Um... I bought it because I could see if I looked in, it was just a big enough fan that I could see its first um, spike starting to form. So I was excited about that. Um, then when I got him, and he actually bloomed, you know, the first time the orchid blooms, it's sometimes not as impressive as you'd hoped. Uh, it gets better with time. And the first one, you know, it really only half opened. And this guy, unfortunately, the the blooms only last for about three weeks on it. I have other um, slipper orchids, Maudier type, like the purple form. Maudiers usually come in uh, in shades of purple or in albino or elba like this. So this one's the elba form with the green. But for whatever reason, this one compared to my other one, it only lasts a few weeks. So it's kind of disappointing that way. But anyways, this is looking as good as it ever has, probably because we transplanted a few months back. Um, so yeah, this guy I give, it likes warm conditions, so I try to keep it in the warmer spots in the greenhouse. Phalaenopsis type conditions, um, I never let the media dry out completely. This is a plant that has no pseudobulbs, so it doesn't take drought very well at all. Kind of like a Phalaenopsis, and it is a rapid grower. It is a hybrid as opposed to a species, and it grows really, really fast. I can see... In the couple years I've owned it, I, you can still see the old um, spikes down there because when you cut them off, they kind of still remain for years. So I can kind of count the blooms. And it's had at least four blooms for me. But um, So it's had four blooms in three years, and now it has three blooms pretty much at once. So I'm like doubling the amount of blooms that I've got on it. I can't count the number of fans anymore. There's so many fans in so many different stages. It's... um really coming up and growing fast. I love the hybrid big vigor of these guys. I do have some species as well. And um, I bought a species fell, or a, a species um, slipper orchid, PAF, and it grows so slow compared to this. Um, I think I'm going to do a few slipper orchid videos in the next coming weeks. I have a few down here below me that are um, just coming out into bloom. I have some species and some really interesting hybrids. And... Yeah, I'm really excited about this species down here. I'm not going to give it away, but um, I've been growing it for a year and a half. And it's I bought it as one little tiny fan, and it was really expensive. I had one little tiny fan, and it finally is going to bloom for me. Um, hopefully, you know, as I say, the first bloom is sometimes disappointing. So hopefully it's not going to be too disappointing for me. Otherwise, yeah, I give it lots of warmth. I give it um, lots of water. I decided this year I'm going to grow it on a heat pad here in the greenhouse. This is a terrestrial orchid, so I figure it's a warm growing terrestrial orchid, so I figure some bottom heat would do it good, and it really, um, you know, did. All the other paths are, the warm growing paths are on um, a heat mat down here as well, and they're all coming up in spikes as well. So, yeah, I, um, I really like this guy. You can see like little hairs on his um, petals here. The only thing I don't like about him is he really, um, crouches down unless you maneuver him not to so I've had to kind of wire him up um, hopefully again with age that's going to correct itself but yeah very very rewarding plant 
it's a Maudier hybrid. So I'm gonna put out the tag because this is a hybrid between many, many orchids. So hopefully it'll focus on that. Maybe not. Put that guy down. See if he can. I think the light is just too bright there. There we go. So you can see he's got a cross of several different ones on there. There you go. That's good and clear. But yes, super rewarding. These guys can grow in the house. You can grow them under lights. Uh, you can even grow them on, you wouldn't want to put them on a south window. It would be just too warm. But um, like an east window would be perfect. You would get the morning sun, not too hot. Um, west window would be, you know, second choice. I would worry about it in the, in the summertime with the hot sun setting. Uh, I think south, or sorry, I think north might be a little bit too dark for them. They do want some light. Um, I keep them quite bright in the summertime. But yes. Anyways, I think as I say, this is going to be the first of a few videos I do on slipper orchids. So between all the videos in this new series coming up, hopefully I can give you a little bit of tidbits of information for good growth. And um, yeah. But he's looking great, isn't he? I usually don't spike, or I usually don't stake the spikes, but with this guy, and as I say, the fact that he doesn't sort of upright himself, I really wanted to, um, to have him looking good. But that is my Maudier type slipper orchid. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.